The banking establishment has been talking about a bull market in equities. They've discussed how this bull market will never end. If you take the opposite side of the bet, then you're causing the problem, apparently. One man is starting to take that opposite bet. You came here for the truth. Today, we are going to talk about the Rothschild Investment Trust. Let's begin. What we are looking at is a report provided by RIT, and you will see the difference of what six months can make. This is the net asset value by currency as in terms of percentage. The end of last year, that's 2016, versus just six months later, the end of June 2017, a significant reduction in their exposure to U.S. dollars, U.S. assets. And instead, they have increased their exposure to sterling. You can see that right here as well as the euro, things have significantly changed here, it seems. What I would say is that they're concerned that this bull market may not continue. Let's see what they wrote. There he is, Lord Rothschild. We do not believe that this is an appropriate time to add risk. Share prices have, in many cases, risen to unprecedented levels at this time when economic growth is by no means assured. The S&P is selling at 25 times, trailing 12 months earnings, compared to a long-term average of 15. So, I've covered that here on the channel before. The adjusted Schiller price earnings ratio, which averages profits over 10 years, is approximately 30 times. And it goes on to talk about monetary accommodation or QE may well be coming to an end. Talks about the problems in the world and says that they are shifting towards the Far East. And they are looking for domestic consumption. So that's what the Rothschild Investment Trust is doing. That's their stated goal. Whether or not they fulfill that, I don't know. But this is something interesting because we are talking about billions being moved around and it is significant, that's for sure. Also at the same time, when somebody like Rothschild makes a decision like this, you know that others will follow. So it's something to really note. Look at China, however. When you talk about Asian equities, when you look at China, never forget to look at the total debt to GDP. And that is a very, very telling story. No different than what we've seen in uh, the US and Europe and everything else. Just look at the GDP of areas like Japan, countries like Greece, Portugal, Spain, Italy, everything continues to rise. It shouldn't surprise anybody. It's never going to be reduced, maybe for a temporary period of time. The only way is if they're ready to crash the economy. So we'll see how that works out. But I don't exactly know how they're going to get out of this mess. They've backed themselves into this corner, and I don't see a way out. Bill Gross said this, Global yields are the lowest in 500 years of recorded history. $10 trillion of negative rate bonds. This is a supernova that will explode one day. It's a good word to use for it because the damage will be very widespread. You know that Everything surrounding this would be ruined, at least for a period of time. There's no way that they can restore this. There's no way they can turn it around. It is inevitable. Now, individuals may experience gains for the next year, two years, five years, maybe even ten years. But when the crash hits... 
it will affect everything. That's the difference between this time and last time. It's not just subprime loans. It's not just adjustable rate mortgages. It's not just a company failing. We are talking about the entire financial system at stake. Grinding lower, junk bond yield is less than the five-year average. Well, junk bond yields are declining. And the only reason I mention this is to put it simply, companies buy junk bonds because they're looking for higher yield. They're looking for better returns. When you get a junk bond, you are taking a big risk because we're talking about the worst of the worst. Whether they're buying into all of the garbage that different types of debt that people have, and I don't see it to be ever a good investment. Yet, pension funds, wealthy investors, in fact, and all of these different corporations, they buy this garbage because they need higher yields. And they feel that this is safe because the government will be there to be their safety net. And unfortunately, my belief is that we need to have some major failures, allow some people to get hurt so that we can learn our lesson to have what I call the economic detox. This right here shows you all of the different corporations which have been selling their junk debt. That should tell people what these companies are really, what are they doing at this time? Are they buying? Are they selling? Well, to me, we are talking about hundreds of billions of dollars here that are being changed hands. It is not going into the same assets it once was. The money's being shifted around. So I think that's important. I'll leave it there for today. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. Remember that when you give me thumbs up, when you subscribe to the channel, when you comment on these videos, you're helping me out to push these videos higher up in the YouTube search rankings. It is my belief that my videos are, at least for the most part, no longer included in the suggestions box. So it will become more and more difficult to have my videos uh, really spread out there. So any help that you can give, I do appreciate that very much. Last but not least, if you found the video informative, I know you'll find my books, The Money GPS, and my new release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can flip through these books at Amazon. The links are in the description below. Take care. Once again, I just wanted to thank everyone for all the positive comments. I wanted to let everyone know, yet again, that I am posting on two different websites now. The links are in the description as well. One is DTube, and that's D-T-U-B-E. And essentially, what this is, is it operates on top of Steemit, which I know not everyone is interested in, but DTube is a decentralized blockchain-based YouTube, essentially. It's like YouTube, but it's not censored. That's the difference. So I've decided that I'm going to post all my videos on there. I hope that you'll follow me on there as well. I think that it is important to get on there, not just because you can actually earn some cryptocurrency just by voting, just by commenting, but the fact that we need to set up systems that are decentralized. Maybe they'll get taken over in the future. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But at this time, I personally need to diversify. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm on there and I'm on VidMe as well. 
That's V-I-D-M-E. And you can check that in the description as well. Either one, all I'm trying to do is diversify out of YouTube. And I think that's an important thing to do. It's a smart thing to do. So I'll leave it at that. Just wanted to say thank you all. Take care.